It's time for another BTS vlog. Yes. Um, BTS vlog is behind the scenes, as I said before. Um, invariably, as you uh, experience the life of a YouTuber, what you end up seeing is that um, there's always hater comments down below, and I got another hater comment today. I'm not. I'm used to them, but. Uh, uh, I've been watching them for a while in terms of seeing what they actually post and, and how they respond to uh, various different things that they see. And it's uh, very clear to me that uh, YouTube, YouTube haters are basically ignorance personified. Uh, this last YouTube, uh, this last uh, hater comment that I got uh, is, uh, I won't say the person's name because I really don't know who they are. Uh, it's called Tusked Mouse or something like that. Something like that. And he says, "Old oh, hobo." And I was on. This is a comment that I, a video comment that I had made to Girl Gone Gamer. That's uh, Raya. Uh, about things that, that uh, I thought weren't true. She did a video, but that uh, on things that uh, she later realized weren't true. Uh, that where she was told by parents, by teachers, as she grew up, she could, and this happens with most kids. When you're a kid, you're told things by your parents, by your teachers, and so on and so forth. And then there comes a point in time in your life, particularly about 1920, when you begin to realize that a lot of the things uh, you were told as a kid weren't necessarily true. It doesn't mean they were completely false. It just means that they're not as true as or as simple as uh, you were initially led to believe. And this can actually this this sort of uh, understanding. Uh, can be extrapolated and extended outwards and that that this type of realization occurs not only with younger people but it also occurs with older people as well uh, once you uh, get to a point where they call me an old hobo uh, you either have completely uh, put blinders on and let uh, and fall light, fall through life bl blindly not asking any question or you realize that a lot of things you're being told in public in the news on popular TV in popular media isn't necessarily true in other words that information is being hidden from you not because they're not they're, not because they're they're going out and saying uh, specifically telling you lies they're just not telling you all there is you need to know in other words you come up with they come up with a story on, on, on let's say Iran or Iraq and they give you a particular bit of information about it what happens is is that there's a conscious choice by the editors and the uh, news desk uh, editors as well as to what information they're going to give you. In other words, you're getting some of the information and only the information that the editor wants you to see. Unless you go to uh, a variety of other newspapers or other news sources, uh, as a researcher would do, then you're not going to see the entire story, or, or or as much of the story as you should be seeing, because each news desk will, will report things differently. So if you go to a variety of sources, if you don't have the full information yourself, you can start piecing things together uh, by going to a variety of independent sources and saying, okay, what's this person saying here? What's this person saying here? And start, you know, from these different pieces, pieces put together a picture of what's actually going on in the region. And this is something known as analysis. Uh, <laughs> and this is something that these uh, YouTube haters, and this is why they're ignorance personified, because on YouTube you can do this. YouTube is a great resource for research. Unbelievable resource for, for research. But these YouTube haters fit the definition of, of ignorance personified because they don't do that. They have the capacity to do this, but they themselves don't do that. They don't want to do the research. Uh, and the thing is, is that you can see from myself in terms of the way I do things, if you watch Big Bang Theory, that I am a researcher. I'm a scientist. I'm not here in my house. I live here in my labs. This is my lab here. The, the mess you see behind me, these are uh, because I do a lot of uh, open source, uh, open hardware. I get a lot of my equipment, as I said before, I get a lot of equipment refurbished. A lot of it comes out of the garbage, and I refurbish the equipment. So there's a lot of stuff back here because there's a lot of refurbishing going on. There's a lot of work going on. It's not because, what? Oh, Hey, let's just stack this stuff over here and forget about it. That's not the way it is. It's this stuff has use to it, and it will be used later on for one project or another. It just you can't do all the products all at once, you know, in, in a very quick succession of time. It does take time to do that. But 
if you're a person who just sort of you're you're, you're walking by and just sort of one off and go, oh, oh oh old Bobo look at the guy here well you can see these comments on on Reyes on Reyes uh, uh, on her YouTube channel the girl gone again I mean old old was not bad you just see the stuff she's getting she's getting well. Most women would not only would consider this consider her comment sexist, but she's being uh, degraded. And in other words, they're, they're talking about her body. They're talking about her, her appearances. Um, they're, talk, they're talking about her physical attributes, or if there is a lack thereof. Uh, they, she gets a lot of flack, a lot of hate, simply based on the way these haters view her. There's no research behind it. There's no, it's just simply, these people are, have this, this verbal diarrhea and they come out and they hate. And they don't think of anything. They're not, they're, they're, there's no analysis behind it. There's just, that's the reaction. And this is why you can call them uh, ignorance personified. And the thing is, is that the only thing these, these ignorant people do is they provide an extra view for your work. You know, they're, 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 you know, if they want to come by and view your video and, you know, whatever they want to do with it, fine. No problem to me because that's an extra viewer. So, <laughs> anyways, Rhea, I understand how you feel, sort of. I mean, I don't get it as much in terms of the, the, the sexual stuff. I'm, I'm not, you know, handsome um, um, or, or a girl in terms of getting, oh, look at that hunky guy. I, I get more of the old, I get more of the uh, old hobo. But anyways, um, you know, that's the way things go. Anyway, see you later. Bye-bye.